hello guys welcome back to tech kitchen and friends i am back after a long time and i am back with the video which is very necessary in these days in these days of work from home and friends i am talking about video conferencing apps so friends in this video i am going to list top 5 most used and most popular and most trustworthy video conferencing apps don't be angry if i don't mention your favorite apps because this is my personal view and friends before listing these apps i must have to remind you that if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it and watch the video till the end to get clear view of what is best for you so friends the first app i am going to talk about is zoom app yes friends i'm sure that you already have used it and if you haven't used it friends this is an amazing app this app affords a lot of features and a decent quality of video and sounds. Friends Zoom app comes in both free and paid plans. And friends, if you are using a free plans, then you have a time limit of 40 minutes up to 100 people. And friends, if you are talking one to one, then there is no time limit. And friends, if you are using a paid plan, then you can talk up to 1000 people for unlimited time period. Zoom allows you to create future meetings and allows you to share link and password so that the participants can participate in the meeting on the schedule time and friends this app offers the first controls in which you can mute and kick off from your conference and friends this app offers a chatting service while video conferencing participants can chat and comment during a live session and friends this app is supported for both android and ios and friends you can use it on your browser too if you want to download this app i have given the link in description you can follow up there and friends if you were already using this app then let me know in the comment box so friends the second app i am going to talk about is google meets and friends this app also known as hangouts and friends there was a rumor that google meets will be limiting its time up to 60 minutes for free plan but friends before shooting this video google has already cleared that it will not be limiting its time to 60 minutes and this is a good news for everyone and friends you can use this app on every platform that is ios android desktop or web browser and friends this app comes with a lot of features similar to zoom app and the greatest feature of this app is live captioning which captions the audio of your meeting in the live and this is a great feature for those disabled people who can't hear so friends the next feature of this app is chatting while meeting you can chat while being in the live meeting and friends you can share your files from your google drive directly in your meeting and friends you can host future meetings too and can share these links with your participants and friends this app also offers a great host control which is very similar to the zoom app and and friends this app also allows you to talk up to 100 people for unlimited type video friends, the third app i'm going to talk about is cisco webex friends you know that the cisco is known for its enterprise level services and high level of security so friends if you are a professional or office worker then this is the best app for you and friends this app also comes with a lot of features that every video conferencing app provides and friends in this app you can share your screen and files during a live session and friends this app uh, gives you the feature of whiteboard which is very helpful for brainstorming for professionals it allows you to record your live session and friends it allows you to test your audio and video quality before starting the meeting friends there are some limitations for free users and that is a free user can only host meeting for 50 minutes before the meeting starts and you can only host a meeting for 100 people if you are using a free plan and friends this app is also available on every platform so you can download it from the link the next and the fourth application i'm going to talk about is skype yes friends skype is one of the oldest video calling app and friends skype is still providing a lot of features for video conferencing and voice calls skype also gives you features to call on a landline number and send sms to the mobile number but that will cost you some charges for video conferencing skype is still better and it allows you to video call with 50 people at once there is no time limit for video conferencing and and friends anyone can join 
or Skype meeting without having a Skype on their phone or desktop. And friends, Skype also allows you to screen recording while video conferencing. And friends, Skype also allows you to share files and share your presentations. And friends, the fifth and the last app is Microsoft Teams. Friends, Microsoft Teams allows you to invite up to 250 people in a video conference. And this application also allows you to share your screen while video conferencing and share files. And but there are some storage issues, but that goes away with Microsoft Office 365 subscription. Friends, that was a list of five important video conferencing apps in my opinion but friends there are still some good applications for video conferencing that are facebook messenger whatsapp slack and house party friends house party is also considerable for if you are a gamer and loves to game while chatting with friends in house party you can even play a game while chatting with your friends this is an alternate to discord so thank you friends for watching this video till the end if you found this video helpful please like this video if you haven't then dislike but if you really enjoy this video please subscribe to my channel comment down your thoughts on this video and tell me which application do you like most for video conferencing till then goodbye namaste